fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at our first two entries in the Guardian Weapon series for Osama Sentai King Oger. We have Rolling Hammer and Snail Gatling. And basically these are just two little bug friends that are going to show up and be weapons for King Oger. Uh, definitely reminding me of the Katakuri Balls from Hurricanger. I'm definitely getting those vibes with these because they're just, you know, two little animal friends. In this case, specifically two little insect friends uh, that are going to show up and just kind of be accessories and weapons for our main mech here. You can see on the top of the boxes, uh, we have Rolling Hammer. It's kind of like a ball on a chain. And then we have uh, Snail Gatling, of course, being a Gatling gun. And I think this weapon technically is called a hammer, even though it's a ball on a chain. I didn't name it. Anyway, boxes are very, very tiny. Uh, just to give you an idea, here is a Lego minifigure. Just to show you how tiny these little boxes are. So the guys inside will most undoubtedly be tiny as well. But nice artwork here on the front. Over here on the side, you can see King Oger using the weapon. Over here, just showing you how it can transform from the weapon to the bug. Not really much going on on the bottom. Another nice pick there on the top. And then on the back, just... You know, more warnings and stuff. Honestly, these almost feel like candy toy boxes. That's how small they are. But they do look cool. And I'm excited to get more mecha. Always a good time. So I'm going to go ahead and get these two out of the packaging here. And we'll take a closer look. So here they are out of the packaging. I think it's kind of interesting that they're both pretty much the same color scheme. They're both orange and navy blue. And I don't know if that's going to be a theme going forward. Or just because they were released at the same time. But here we have the pill bug, Rolling Hammer. Uh, this is exactly how he comes out of the packaging. You're going to want to take these little horns and just put them at like a 45 degree angle like that. And there you go. There is your tiny pill bug. Now the cool thing is he does come with an actual metal chain here. Which is going to connect on the top right here. But when you're not using it, this actually opens up. And you can store this inside there and close it up. I think that's really cool. They did not have to do that, but that is a perfect attention to detail. Now, he definitely uh, jingle jangles there, but, you know, it's still cool that you can store that inside. But then when you want to transform them, you just open it up, take that out. You just close this up. There's no spring-loaded mechanic to it or anything like that. And then you take this little plastic connector here, and you're going to plug it into this section here. And it just wedges in there. There's not really a click or anything like that. And there you go. Now it is in hammer mode. And then this will just uh, peg into King Oger's fist. So we'll try that out in a moment. We'll put that off to the side. And we will check out Snail Gatling, which I absolutely love that name. That's fantastic. This is how it comes in the packaging. And for snail mode, you're going to want to rotate it 90 degrees and I think the head's also turned around. You can actually spin his little snail head around 360 and his little silver eyes there, which I think is fun. So when you have it in the snail mode, uh, spinning the wheels will spin the Gatling gun, which is fun. And then when you want to transform it into the weapon mode for King Oger, you actually just spin it this way so that the Gatling guns point towards the back if, you know, the front is his head. And then that's just going to clip onto one of his forearms like the ladybugs do. And that is pretty much it. Now in this mode, these wheels will not do anything. So it won't really gatling when <laughs> it's being used by King Oger unless you just spin it on your own. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really not too much to these, honestly. They're very simple. Um... I think they were like less than $10 a piece, so there's not a ton to them. But let's go ahead, let's bring in King Oger so we can check out how he wields them. So here is King Oger. I'm going to go ahead and remove the sword just to free up his hands here. Put that off to the side, and I'm also going to pop off one of the ladybugs. And then we'll just bring in Snail Gatling here. And I'm probably going to have to move his arm out a little bit, which means I'm probably going to have to push this back, pop this back, straighten the arm out a little bit just for clearance sake. And then this is going to just pop on right there. So you can see how the snail kind of does take up, you know, the bottom most elbow joint. But there you go. He's got a Gatling gun on his arm. You can spin it. That's pretty fun. And then you have the hammer over here. We'll pop this into this hand. And that just pops in. I said that just pops in. 
I don't really know why this is being difficult. It's kind of a tight fit, honestly, but I know we'll get it. There we go. I guess it's just getting it lined up. But there you go. Now, unfortunately, you can't really, I mean, if you had some kind of stand or something, you could have a dynamic pose or maybe he's throwing this at somebody, but otherwise it's just going to kind of hang down there. But he does have the chain. I think it's really nice that they included like an actual metal chain because they really didn't have to. I could have easily seen them doing some string or a plastic chain. So I'm really impressed that it's a metal chain. Uh, this just reminds me of the metal chain that came with the SMP for Didengen. So they've been stepping it up with their chain weapons recently, and I love that about it. So, very cool. Uh, like I said, it's not super dynamic to just show him holding it because it literally just sits here on the ground. But I do think it's a really cool weapon. I love the metal chain there. And you do have the Gatling gun popping onto the forearm there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for these. They are remarkably simple, but I kind of love them. They're just tiny, fun little bug friends who become weapons for your giant robot. And what's not to love about that? I honestly hope they do a ton of these. I have no idea how many they have planned, but I mean, I want like 20 of these by the time the show's over. Probably won't get that high. Probably somewhere in the area of 5 to 10, but I still think they're really fun. And the fact that they're tiny and simple makes them, you know, collecting them fairly simple as well. Because they're definitely like 5 to $10 a piece, you know, which might seem a little high. But at the same time, I could easily see these being like a candy toy or gashapon thing if they wanted to just go crazy with these. Because they are fairly simplistic. I mean, if you think about like the ladybugs or the ant that came with the main King Odra set, something like that could definitely be a candy toy or gashapon accessory. So... We'll have to see how they go. And maybe because this was this one is a deluxe, that's why they sprung for the metal chain. And this one has maybe a little bit more mechanics. But, you know, maybe keep those in the deluxe and then do some simpler ones for Candy Toy Gash Bond. That could be fun. I don't think they're going to do that, but that could be something fun. We'll have to see how it goes. But I like both of these a lot. Like I said, I think it's interesting that they're the exact same color scheme. I don't know if that was, you know, super intentional just because they're released at the same time or what. Hopefully they're not all the same colors going forward, but I really like the little pill bug. He's very simple, but the fact that they gave you a little spot to store that chain in the bug mode is such a small detail, but so appreciated because otherwise, you know, what do you do with that thing? So that's just such a small, simple detail that I super appreciate and absolutely love on that. And then the snail Gatling, I mean, he's just fun. I mean, I love his little snail eyes, the fact that his head can swivel from side to side. You know, when he rolls, he's got the Gatling thing going on. So the snail could just be slowly moving by you and causing destruction. But he's just a fun little snail friend. I don't know. I just love him. So these are simple. They're tiny, but they're a lot of fun and they're inexpensive, which is nice. So collecting them should be relatively easy. Like I said, I hope we get a ton of these as the year goes on. Only time will tell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.